Hello everyone, my name is Kid Lee and welcome to a Star Wars The Old Republic news update. I've got two stories for you here today. The first one being an announcement that some of you have been waiting for for a very, very long time. Bioware has confirmed they are indeed increasing the credit cap for non-subs. I will wait for your cheer. Hold on. Was it Yoda? Nope. It's been, a, it's been a mystery for a while now as to why is this credit cap a thing. Of course, the rumor's always been, oh, got to keep out the gold farmers, got to, you know, limit whatever they're doing. But I don't think really the gold farm thing has been an issue in SOTOR for a while now. But in the end, it's it's happy to see that they're finally increasing it. I think the cap right now is, what, 300k, 350, something along those lines. So hopefully they actually put it into the millions, allowing those people to get, you know, better, more expensive stuff off of the GTN and all that fun stuff. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Increased credit cap is coming, most likely with 6.0, I imagine. They didn't give a date or anything, so I think it's going to be part of Onslaught. Maybe sooner. Who knows? The second story we're going to talk about is yet another new feature that is coming into 6.0. And we're going to basically call it the deconstruction plus inventory management. Now, the first thing on this list here that I'm going to take a look at is actually the bottom line. And that is new legacy-wide storage that holds all of your crafting materials. Again, I think that's going to be a pretty big cheer from the SOTOR community, something that people have requested for a very, very long time. And it's something that other games have done for a while now, which is pretty cool that they're finally bringing it into SOTOR. I know for me, what I've basically just done is I have at least one tab, if not two, in legacy storage that I just have been sort of manually doing it, you know, with all the crafting materials on every character. And it's going to be interesting to see if they actually, if this just happens automatically or if you still have to do it manually, but it's just separate tabs. Either way, I think it's going to be something that people are going to be very, very happy about. So there you go. Let's go ahead and go back up to the top of this list and talk about this new feature. Now, in some of the previous videos that I've done talking about 6.0, one of the big things that Bioware is pushing is loot, 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 more loot, loot everywhere, so forth and so on. Even in a previous video that I did earlier this week talking about the new changes to Galactic Command, you'll be getting unwanted loot or at least stuff you maybe don't need. What are we going to do with all this stuff that we don't need? Well, within the current Galactic Command, you have the ability to disintegrate some stuff. So they're basically taking that and just expanding on it across the entire game the ability to deconstruct all unwanted items no crafting profession required reverse engineering does have some advantages uh, breaks down items into crafting materials or scrap or a new currency they're going to introduce you know these mmos and their currencies crazy all the time a completely new interface for this deconstruction and reverse engineering the and the ability to quickly break down items so that's sort of the the bullet points of what this new system is i believe bioware has mentioned that with the new currency they're going to be introducing a couple of new vendors to get some stuff off of i think we're going to need more information on exactly what that stuff is going to be i'm going to assume that it's going to tie in to maybe the new uh, amplifier system or one of the other new sy systems that they're introducing the other really interesting thing that they're going to be doing, which is actually not on this list right here, is they're going to be taking something from Destiny, if anybody's played that game. Destiny has a rare vendor that sort of pops in the game and then leaves after a while that you can get like rare stuff off of. SOTOR is actually going to be adding that into the game. So a rare vendor that pops into SOTOR is around for however long, and then will disappear and then come back at a later date. Kind of interesting that they're doing that, but okay, I guess we'll see how it works. But no, just yet another interesting system that they're adding for Onslaught. They, you know, since the Cantina, they've continued to give us more information about even more stuff they continue to add. Onslaught is looking better and better every day. And like I said before, I, th I think SOTOR has 
needed some big changes like this for a long time. So I'm really happy to see that they are completely redoing the gearing system, major changes to the ability system with the, well, ability to actually change some of the abilities and rotations and new sets. And it's crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. And hopefully it will make this game much, much better than what it currently is, which I think it probably will. So there you go. Of course, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. What do you think about the credit cap situation, deconstruction? Let me know in the comments down below this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Everybody keep playing. Have fun. We'll see you next time.